Good question. I'll be very transparent here with you. This crown is breaking my neck. Oh my goodness, there is no way that it could get to my head because I, my family, one, wouldn't let, wouldn't let it. And two, I've got some really cool friends. My whole team are very down to earth. So I think they would beat it out of me before it ever came to that. It isn't hard. I'll be very transparent here with you. It's heavy. And some days are difficult, more difficult than others. But it is an integral part of that character. It is the icing on the cake. The costume and the wigs are so important for Charlotte. It's so important for the way she stands, the way she holds herself, the way she sits, the way she walks, even the way she talks. The costume and wigs are 100% important for that character. The people and the artistry that goes into making the costumes and the wigs, they're extraordinary. We were so lucky to have people at the top of their game really wanting to create these masterpieces. The only thing that I would keep would maybe be like a tea set. Your flower metaphors make me nauseated with their sweetness, but I applaud your point. I haven't taken it. I would like to. Good question. While I was filming season three of Bridgerton, I was also filming Queen Charlotte. So they were happening at the same time. And yes, they definitely, I would say, influenced each other. So, you know, in Bridgerton, I don't have a family, but in Queen Charlotte, I have 13 children. Hello, my children. So that was really interesting to kind of meet my 13 children for the first time. If anything, m easier, because you then have reference. You then have another layer to play with. I couldn't say. They're all my children. They're all my favorites. The only advice that I gave to India was take it and make it your own. In her ownership, of the role, somehow there's that beautiful connection between the three of us. That's the essence of Queen Charlotte, is that she knows who she is and that she is unapologetic. And that's the advice that I gave India, to bring all of that of India into Charlotte. And it worked beautifully. The favourite scenes to film for me were the scenes with Brimsley, my beautiful, beautiful scene partner, Hugh Sachs. In Bridgerton, he doesn't speak. Or he says, your majesty. In Queen Charlotte, there's like, you understand that relationship because there is then conversation and dialogue. You have an insight to how important Brimsley is to Queen Charlotte.